Hi, I'm Mickey with Forevermore Computer Training. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Excel V lookup function. You ready? Let's get going. V lookup searches for a value in the first column of a table. At the match row, it retrieves a value from the specified column. So let's say I have a large range of data that lists all part numbers, descriptions, and prices. In this example, I want to find the part description and the price when I plug in the part number. Okay, so let's insert the VLOOKUP function. I'm going to use the insert function dialog box to get this going. So if I click on the insert function command right here, my insert function dialog box pops up. If you do not see the VLOOKUP in this section right here, then go ahead and plug it in to the search for a function box and then click on go. What is nice about using the insert function dialog box is that it tells you exactly what input is needed. So right here for lookup value, I read right down here, lookup value is the value to be found in the first column of the table. It can be a value, it can be a reference, or it can be a text string. Um, overall, a VLOOKUP function needs four inputs in order for it to work. It needs a lookup value, it needs a table array, it needs a column index number, and it needs a range lookup. For the lookup value, I am using the part number. So I'm going to click directly on F1. My table array is the range where my data is located. And in this example, I'm using the range A1 through C49. The column index number is relative to the data you selected. I selected the cells A1 through C49. So that means that the data is three columns wide. So I have one, two, Three. Try to ignore the column heading and the row headings because these do not play a factor into this formula. They don't have anything to do with this formula. Again, the data range has three columns. I am looking for the part description, so that's going to be one, two. My description is in column two, and that's what I'm entering here. I'm going to set the range lookup to false. This requires an exact match. If I put true or leave it blank, then it's not looking for an exact match. In this case, I do want to find the exact part number match. Okay, so this is what my completed formula should look like. Let's go ahead and do this function from the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and click in F2. That's where I want my function to be. Then I'm going to click on my insert function command. Opens up my search for insert function. Now if I didn't see the VLOOKUP in this area here, then I can just search for it. Type in VLOOKUP. Hit go. There it is. Double click on it opens up my insert function dialog box. Now my lookup value is going to be the part number. Even though this is blank right now, this is where I'm going to start inputting my part numbers. So uh, I'm just going to select F1. You can see that it auto fills down here in my dialog box. Now my table array is where my data is located. And I have my data in A1 through uh, C49. And my column index number is where what column I want to return. So when I type in the part number, I want it to return the part's description. So my table array has one, two, three columns. I want to return what's in the second column, so I'm going to put two. Now my range lookup, this is not a required field, but I do want to put in false here because I want it to find an exact match. If I left it blank or put in true, then it would just find the closest match. So I do want false. 
and OK. Now let's actually see if this works. So I know my part number is, I'm looking for a basket and it returns basket as the parts description. Let's try another one just to see. Okay, I know a part number CH011. Oh, it's a chain. It returns the parts description chain. Here's another example of using the VLOOKUP with the exact same scenario. So let's say I have an invoice on a different worksheet. Um, I'm going to use the VLOOKUP to return the description and the unit price when I plug in the part number. So I am using the exact same table array that we used earlier in the example. Um, so I have my parts number, part description, price, nothing has changed. I'm going to go back to my invoice. Now I've already put in the VLOOKUP so you can see. So under description, um, it's almost the, the exact same that we did earlier and unit price also. So now when I put in a part number, I'm selling the customer a basket. So I plug in the part number, pulls in the description and the unit price. I'm also going to sell them some bar ends and some bar plugs. So it's automatically pulling that information over simply from using our VLOOKUP.